Hello friends, welcome to arpitakarva.com, India's finest online coaching for English literature and net preparation. In the last lecture, we talked about what a network is and what are the benefits of networking. Today, we will extend that topic and talk about components of the network and network devices. So, let us begin. Friends, when we talk about the network, it becomes very important to understand the components of a network. The first component is called a client. Any computer that is part of the network is called a client. So, the component that requires the information which asks for the information is called client. Now, if someone needs information, someone else has to provide it. The component that provides the information is called a server. Server is the computer that has the desired information, files, data and networking operating system. The third component is network cables or the physical device through which computers in a network are connected. They are also called bus. Now, there is a lot of exchange of information happening on the network. We need a component to regulate that data. That work is done by an adapter called Network Interface Card that is also called an NIC. A computer uses a Network Interface Card or NIC to become part of a network. The NIC contains the electronic circuitry required to communicate using a wired connection, for example, Ethernet or a wireless connection, for example, a Wi-Fi. A network interface card is also known as a network interface controller, network adapter or local area network, that is LAN adapter. Now friends, without rules, there will be total chaos over a network. Hence, we need a set of rules to regulate that network. These rules are called protocol. Now, the hardwares that are available to use on a network are called resources. For example, if we have a computer printer or scanner that any computer in a network can use, these would be called resources. Friends, we talked about the components of a network. Now, we will talk about networking devices or hardware. The first one is called repeater. A repeater basically connects two segments of a LAN. Like two LANs can be connected to a repeater. Signals transmitted over cable tend to degrade over long distance. Now, repeaters are needed so that the signal can travel longer distances. Next device is a hub. It is similar to a repeater. A hub is a networking device used to connect multiple devices directly to the network using cables. Each connection is called a port. The connections typically consist of a fiber optic ethernet cable. When the hub receives data at one of its ports, it distributes the data to other ports in the network. Now, typically, a hub sends all the data it receives to all the other ports. The next device is a switch. Friends, it is very similar to a hub. Now, switches contain many ports to connect different network segments. They are similar to hubs but offer greater performance. When a network contains a large number of devices, switches are needed instead of hubs to make sure the communications between devices do not slow down. Contrary to hubs, switches send the data it receives only to specific ports. Next is bridge. Bridges are networking devices that divide up the network into different segments to manage the amount of traffic. This prevents unnecessary traffic from entering other parts of the network and reduces congestion. As a network becomes more complex, bridges make sure 
your network speed does not drop dramatically. The next device is a router. Routers are communication devices used to connect two different networks. A router sorts incoming data and distributes it to the correct destination. For example, if you have a network within a single office building, many different devices from within the network may access resources outside the network. The best example of this would be the internet. A router ensures that requests from within the network for information over the internet are distributed to the correct computer within the network. Now routers can be used for wired connections, wireless connections or both. A router that provides a wireless connection is referred to as a wireless router. Friends, the next device is called Gateway. While routers are used to connect different networks, they only work if the network protocols are the same. A gateway interfaces networks that use different protocols. The terms router and gateway are often used interchangeably. But it is important to remember that only gateways make it possible to connect networks using different protocols. And the final device is a modem. Friends, a modem converts digital signals to an analog signal. You would have seen a modem at home. It is connected between the telephone line and computer. That's it from my side for this lecture. We will meet soon in the next lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.